Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here. We're very happy to be with you today. I'm going to ask you to encourage me by delivering me a big hand. Not bad. Well done. So, it's going to be a long and fine day together with all of you. Take your time, settle down. We're together here to discuss a key issue, a single word, tomorrow. I uh, am saying that they will be long and uh, rich tonight at 9 p.m., a concert by Angelique Kidjo. Please stay until the end. It's going to be a fine event to in conclusion of this beautiful day. So we need to get down to work now. It's not a cliche for future generations, our children. Um, I am a father. I have an eight-year-old son. And uh, I can really relate to everything that we're going to discuss today. We are together to focus on the challenges of something that's not so trendy now, the long term. We're going to talk about time long term and what we need to rebuild the planet. We need to get down to work right now. And without further ado, I shall yield the floor to Jacques Attadi, a president of uh, the Positive Planet Foundation. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for all those who've made this day possible, our partners, our employees at the Positive Planet Foundation that's in the field in more than country, 40 countries fighting poverty and to make sure that future generations have uh, the resources to live, to train, to create, to be themselves. And this foundation is uh, privileged uh, with uh, the origins of this entire positive movement and today with uh, our partner, Richard Atias, uh, initiators of this forum. The positive economy brings together all those who work in the interests of future generations in economics, politics, science, art, those who fight against the negative economy. There is such a thing, those who pollute, who destroy, who uh, who are bad to uh, the weak, to women, to children and uh, the younger generations who cannot vote or have a voice. You, none of us here in this room are spectators. We are all players, more or less active, more or less optimistic or pessimistic, but we are all key players in all of this. And what you're going to see today is a number of these players who've decided to consider that tomorrow belong to them too. Either they'll still be around or they will be remembered for their legacy, good or bad, and they need to leave a livable word, world. You're going to see prime ministers, CEOs, NGO uh, people, madmen. You need to be a little bit mad to exist. Only madness can be taken seriously. You will also be able to act yourselves by comparing what is being done already. We have an index um, of the degree of positivity of countries. You'll hear the Prime Minister of Iceland, who will tell you why we identified it as the world's most positive country in 2017, the country that is preparing best for the future in the world. You will hear other Prime Ministers, other CEOs. And then more broadly, you too are empowered to speak. We are launching, as of tonight, a great global consultation. Um, the estates general, uh, so to speak. Decisions that are taken by heads of government are not just emergency measures. We really must reverse uh, the hierarchy between what is urgent and what is really important. We only attack important things when they've become urgent. So it's a consultation that you have a duty to take part in. You need to 
give your opinion, to voice your opinion about what is important, what needs to be done now for future generations. But you need to activate your networks. You need to mobilize and register everyone you know who can have an impact so that in May, of next year for the next forum, we can bring together these hundreds or thousands or millions of contributions uh, to create a report which we shall communicate to the leaders of the G7 and G20 so that decisions are not taken at the last moment uh, in the field of environment, health, education, and many other fields. The world is getting better in some aspects and getting worse in many others. It's very important to define them, to identify them, and to take action. We're positive. We believe that yesterday can be better to, than today. You will see a great many examples of this. There's no guarantee that we will succeed. It, it very much depends on what each one of you, each one of us, can do uh, when we leave this room, when we start to say, what can I do for the world? Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for your contribution.